don't regard multiple myeloma as being for the average patient curable at this point. So while we have many new exciting treatments, patients are living longer and longer, the remissions are lasting longer and longer, the therapies are less toxic than they've ever been, we still don't speak in terms of cure yet. We really think that many, and we have hope that many of the drugs that we are developing, including drugs we developed here at the Norton Cancer Institute, may offer the possibility for a prolonged remission or cure. Uh, and we all have the exceptional patient that has gone, you know, decade or longer in remission without therapy. But what we tell most patients is that this is a chronic illness. It will be a matter of treating you for remission, then backing off on the treatment, then starting the treatment again when the disease you know, flares up again, backing off, starting again. So it will be a chronic kind of on and off therapy. You know, we're very excited about our clinical research program here at the Norton Cancer Institute, specifically uh, what I'm involved with, our blood cancers. So I, you know, I just want patients to know and the community to know that we have these choices and options for patients that sometimes can lead to offering patients the ability to participate in these studies and receive medications that may not be more generally available uh, for months or years in the future.